Uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised if I told you. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, the Oscars are a thing. They've been going on for 83 years. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, joining a, a bigger apparatus. Uh, so it's gonna be, you know, pretty familiar in, in some ways. I, I think it'll, but I think it'll be fun. I mean, they're allowing us to be relaxed, or they're not, you know stretching us into some mold that we, you know, we don't fit. Uh, so I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I guess that's, yeah, that's no secret. Uh, yeah, it is odd. I don't have a seat. Um, I've given my seat as a nominee to one of my family members. The whole family's coming out. Uh, so I will be backstage, uh, hanging out with the crew. So it'll be a special little shot. Yeah. You know, uh, no, it's a funny thing. I, uh, as some people in this tent tent might know, I uh, just did some different arcs on General Hospital, the soap opera. And when I did that, before I did that, I thought, well, am I going to have to act differently? Am I going to have to act like a soap opera or what a soap opera actor? What and what does that even mean? And then when I got there. I realized, no, I don't have to act any differently. That all I, all, my job is to act as realistically in the parameters of this world, you know, act as realistically in that as possible. And because the writing's different, because the way they shoot it's different, the lighting's different, the makeup, the, the characters, you know, and, and all the dynamics and, and all that are different, you change. But the acting at its core is kind of the same whether you're on a soap opera on an independent film or on a you know super large budget film it's just that the world and the context around you changes and you have to act you know they all each movie has or project has its own reality and so that will change you slightly but the basics are the same i think yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, when I first started acting, I thought, uh, I didn't want to know, or I was, maybe I was taught or whatever, but I didn't want to know about the technical side. It was always about, like, making the emotions genuine, you know, really living it, you know, really believing it. And I still believe that way, and, I, and hopefully that, that way of working has been ingrained in me so that performances are emotionally honest, if that's what they demand, you know, if I'm in a... If, but, um, but I do see movies as a, for the collaborative art form that they are now. And so I know that there are, yes, the actors should be living, you know, realistically and acting realistically, but there's, you know, cameras and, you know, the, there's lighting and there's blocking and there's all these other things, considerations. And so instead of trying to ignore all that, I try to work with all that in a, in a new way, yeah. You live there? Oh, great. Um, my mother is a, uh, she's been a children's book author for decades now. She has over, I think, 40 titles, maybe, I don't know, maybe even more than that. And uh, she recently has started writing and publishing um, young adult fiction. And her first young adult novel is called The Metamorphosis, or Metamorphosis, which is a loose retelling of Ovid's Metamorphosis in a contemporary high school setting. Which is also very strange because at the same time I was writing a book with teenage characters. <clears throat> so um, nothing against my mom, but I didn't want to read. <laughs> I didn't want to read her book while I was writing my book, uh, and so I haven't read the full thing. I did. The, there's a poetry class in the book, and they read, and, the, and she includes some of the, the characters' poetry. So I read the poetry sections for the audio book. Now she has adapted the book into a stage play that she's putting on at the Palo Alto Theater. And by some other crazy coincidence, or maybe we're just in sync uh, because we're related, um, I have also been interested in capturing young people in the theater. And I'm working on a project at Yale 
using a live stage play, but also digital technology and, and, and cameras and projections in, in different ways and capturing that experience in a, in a new way. So I just thought, well, my mom's, you know, doing it too, so why, why fight it? So we're making a documentary about the, the process of putting on that play. Yeah. Is that it? All right, thank you very much.